Hey, this is Hank Smith from Hank Patty in the Current, and today we're going to talk about dynamic control. With your right hand, it's easy to play fast, it's easy to play slow, but then sometimes you end up playing too loud or too quiet or vice versa. So an exercise that you can do really easily is to get a roll going at a moderate tempo. Keep it going. And then get louder, but don't speed up. you can incorporate that technique into anything you're doing and it should achieve the control that you want and it's just an exercise to help get you going one way or the other so that you understand where the middle is how hard how fast how slow how quiet and that's pretty much it dynamic control by that same token when you're playing faster you don't necessarily have to dig in harder. In fact, sometimes it's easier when playing up tempo to lighten your touch on your right hand. So that, for example, you can also increase your dynamic for slower songs. For greater effect, to bring out certain notes, and then this way, when you hit the melody notes within the song, if it's at a slower tempo, you really emphasize what's supposed to be there versus the notes that are filling in around it. For example. To that effect, a lot of times when you're learning a difficult piece and it's hard to wrap your fingers around it, the natural tendency is to dig in harder. But when you do that, it makes it harder to play the way you want the song to sound. So the harder you dig in, the more difficult it can be to achieve the speed or even the dynamic that you're trying to control in the tune. So it's important that when you become aware of your right hand tightening up and trying to bear down harder because the piece is difficult to reverse that in your mind and lighten your touch so that you can play the tune at the tempo. It's, it's very counterintuitive at first, but it makes a lot of sense when you get the hang of it.